World Tour Racing have returned to Canada two days before the peloton headed to Montreal for the second of the two big one-day races approaching the World Championships. With the time trial a week away in Australia, the road race in two weeks' time, this was the last big opportunity for everybody to warm up for the battle for the rainbow jersey with a 221-kilometre race around the city of Montreal in Canada. The Grand Prix Montréal, the 11th edition of the race, with Craig van Avermaet starting as defending champion with the number one on his back, having not won a single bike race, however, since this very event three years ago. A really warm day on Canadian roads and a good six-man break up the road, headed by Antoine Duchesne riding his final race as a professional cyclist. Andreas Lechnesund was in there as well. And UAE Emirates helped after it had been three different teams working at the start of the day, led by Jumbo Visma, Aja Dezer and Ineos. Antonio Nibali, the first to be dropped from the breakaway. Antoine Duchesne followed soon after. Lechnesen would then leave Delacroix and Vermeersk behind. Conserving advantage of just over two minutes. But that didn't last too long. 25 k's to go, and it was all back together. With just under two laps of the 12.5 kilometer circuit remaining, an attack went. It was Simone Velasco in the light blue of Astana and Frederick Vondel of Bora in the green. A maximum gap of 40 seconds was closed down, but not until the final lap. Bart van Aert still with one teammate, and it took a Danny Martinez attack to kick things off on the final climb of the day. Two ramps remained after the final main climb. Pogacar then made his move. Yates had a try and five men ended up leading the race going into the final couple of ramps. Bart van Aert, David Gaudu there behind. Romain Bardet would try to join the party, but he'd be well marked. Mauro Schmidt, the teammate of Andrea Bajoli, also up the road doing a great job. Final kilometre then. Tadej Pogacar, Wout van Aert, with Adam Yates, David Godou and Andrea Bajoli. All together with 400 metres to go. Godou waited, found an opportunity with a bit of space. And after almost six hours of racing, he'd be the first to launch the sprint. Pogacar closing it down, closing it down well, but at this stage, many fans were probably expecting Wat van Aert and the yellow to come around him, but no, van Aert unable to do it, Bajoli not there, Tadej Pogacar showing the sort of one-day form that took him to monument victories in Lombardy and Liège just over a year ago. Tadej Pogacar adding a 14th victory of the season, his first win since the Tour de France, well and truly back looking very good ahead of a fight for the rainbow jersey in Australia in two weeks' time. Pogacar winning and capping off a brilliant bit of work by UAE Emirates. Fanart in second, Bajoli third, with Yates and Gordou in the top five. Pogacar versus Fanart. Will that be a duel we'll see again? We'll have to wait to find out. A reminder that those world championships in Australia on the way from Wollongong. The peloton leaves Canada after two fantastic races. Next stop, Australia.